Hello, my name is Kat and today I'll be showing you how to make your own DIY palette and crate bed frame. It's an ideal frame for storage purposes and will save you tons on an expensive bed frame. Because I'm working with minimal space, I will be working right where I put my bed. First I have to move everything out of the way and create room for me to make the frame. My cats decided they wanted to help me move stuff. To get started, you will need to measure the mattress you will be putting on the frame. For my bed, I needed four crates on either side, and I was lucky enough to have found some at a garage sale a while back when I was driving by. In order to know how many crates you'll need for each side, you'll have to do some math because a few of the crates are different sizes. You can find some at Michaels, Walmart, or Target for around $10 each, or you can hit up your local thrift store to see if they have any. You will also need some boards that are the length that the width of your bed is. I'm using plywood that I cut into one foot sections. You can leave everything wood colored if you want a rustic look, or you can paint them. I used some cheap regular white wall paint to get a finished look. Be sure to paint every piece of wood twice so that it's a nice thick coating, if you decide to paint at all. Once all of your boards and crates are painted, let them dry for at least a few hours. I let mine dry for four hours total and had a fan blowing on them to speed up the process. Then you will start securing the crates together. I decided to line mine up the long way because it was perfect length for my bed, but if you need to, you can put them together the short way. To secure the crates together, you will need some long screws. I'm just using decking screws. I'm also using a hammer drill to make the screws go in easier. You can also pre-drill the holes so that the screws don't split the wood, but with a hammer drill, it'll go in easier. Don't forget, it's not a bad thing to put in a bunch of screws. The more screws you have, the better it'll hold together, and so you won't have to worry about repairing it later on.
When you have secured all of the crates together, lay them down so that the open ends of the crates face away from the middle. Then lay your boards on top of them. I suggest measuring one last time to make sure everything is the right size before screwing the boards on. I also made sure that the pieces were where I wanted them to stay so I wouldn't have to move the bed frame later. I am doing this project all alone, so if it's a heavy bed frame, I'm not going to be able to move it on my own very easily. step is to screw the boards onto the crates. It is important not to screw where other nails or screws might be, so check where you're putting them first. You should put at least three screws into each board. Make sure all the boards are spaced out well so your mattress is supported throughout. Once the final screw is in, you can put the mattress back on and set your bed up how you like. The large opening in the middle is a great place to store clothing for the off season or crafting items that you don't use all the time. And here's the finished product. It's simple to do and you can do it on your own. If you don't have a way to cut wood, remember you can always get it cut at the Home Depot for a small fee. I'm really happy with how this bed frame turned out. If you need more storage, try out this DIY. Thank you so much for watching and if you make the bed frame, be sure to share your work with me on Instagram and please leave a like and comment if you liked the video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!